Good morning. It's nice to uh, be back here, St. Paul. I thought I, I, if I would remember, my memory would uh, keep me right. The last time I did a Mass here would be when you still have your 8 o'clock Mass. And so, uh, you see, God is always giving us a room to improve. Reflecting on the readings for today and what to share with you, that thought came to my mind. It's one of us, all of us, are always given the chance, the opportunity, the room to improve. In the Gospel reading, it started when, when Jesus said, Unless your righteousness, unless your holiness, unless your life surpasses that of the Pharisees, then you will not belong to God's kingdom. It is, for me, a chance, an opportunity for us to put our Christian life, our Catholic life, our personal relationship with God on a higher level. Yes, the readings today would focus on the law, God's law, and how we observe God's law. In the book of Sirach, of which we hear, or we heard in the first reading, says beautifully that if we choose, see, if we choose, therefore, we are encouraged to think about freedom. If we choose to observe the law, then you will be saved. So the law would be the, the guideline, the roadmap, the, the barometer, the equilibrium of or the measure of salvation. When we follow the law, then we will be saved. The Pharisees and all those leaders, religious leaders of the time of Jesus, especially the Pharisees, would follow the law. They are religious people. But Jesus said, unless, unless you surpass that way of the Pharisees, then you will not inherit God's kingdom. Therefore, it's not simply strictly following the law through its letter, but living the spirit of the law. And that is what Jesus would propose. And that is the room, the space that I want to share with you for our Christian living. And what is the law? The law in the gospel said, thou shalt not kill right? But Jesus said, it's not about thou shall not kill, but purify your hearts. Clean your heart. You see, this, this gospel today is included in the chapter 5 of the gospel of St. Matthew, of which started with the Beatitudes. Remember the Beatitudes. And in the Beatitudes, it says, one of those would be, blessed are those who have this clean of heart, for they will see God. Those who have this clean of heart, the purity of their heart, the purity of their intention, then they will see God. So I think Jesus is telling them, Clean your heart. It's not simply, thou shalt not kill. We don't kill, but we have anger, right? We have evil intent, of which we could say that this is the impurities of the heart. So when we go back and we reflect more on that uh, meaning of the words of Jesus, it reverberates on that 
sense of the beatitude. We are blessed because we have clean of heart. We don't harbor anger. We don't harbor revenge. Our heart is clean, pure, and beautiful. And it is connected probably with the word kindness. Kindness. So we reflect on kindness. How much kindness we have in our heart. We don't kill. I know we don't kill. Nobody kills. But how about, are we kind? Are we clean of heart? Do we relate to people pure, without in evil intent? So those are more and putting Christian life and living in that higher level. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Who commits adultery? But Jesus said, if you look at the woman with lust, then you're already committing adultery. So Jesus is telling them to well have a beautiful intentions of the mind. So today, in this uh, Mass, it's a beautiful time to, once again, offer our life to Jesus. Yes, we are not perfect. That's why we always reflect on the Beatitude. We fail, especially in today's world. How can we purify our thoughts? How can we easily clean our hearts when there are so many forces around that gets in conflict with our Christian values. Internet, pornography. One click and you get it. How do we deal with that? So advertisements, evil thoughts, exposures. So as Christians, as Catholic, as believers of Jesus, it is a challenge, but it is never, never far from reality that we cannot make ourselves on a foot on a higher ground. Why? Because when we believe and we follow and we have good intention, then Jesus would be on us. So whenever we fail, remember, bounce back. Go up again. Everybody does that. It's not only us. But we don't stay on the ground of evil desires, simple ways, and we could say bad things. We always go up to the ladder of goodness and holiness. Blessed are the pure and clean of heart. They will see God. Blessed are the merciful. They will be shown mercy. Anger. One word. Road rage. Right? Road rage. When you're driving, <gasps> remember, sometimes it also happens to us. You will be shown mercy. And anger is only one letter short of danger. Remember that. When we were not able to control our anger, then in a split second, we might regret giving and bursting out. Anger is one letter short of danger. So be careful. Patience. I think the value of patience is also included in that beatitude. Be patient that you would not say bad words. Be patient that you would not do bad actions, especially on the road. So those, I think, are my additional uh, reflections on this beautiful gospel today. We are all called to be holy. We are all called to be good. 
we are all called to be a people of the beatitude. God bless each one of us. Amen.